we go from 1867 to 1876, now to 1883. Gottlieb Daimler is the technician that makes Otto's engines work. And he goes to Nicholas Otto and says, you know, Nicholas, if we could build a lightweight, liquid-fueled, high-speed engine, you know what we could do, Nicholas? We could power a carriage. Understanding that the engines up to this time are very heavy, run at no more than about 160 revolutions per minute because you can't make the slide valve work faster than that, and burning a gas, they're fixed in place. At the time, naphtha would be the liquid fuel of choice. Nicholas Otto says he's not interested. Nine, we make great big engines power industry all over the world. So Gottlieb Daimler goes off on his own and builds a prototype of a lightweight, high-speed, liquid-fueled engine that burns naphtha. And he is successful in his endeavors and ultimately been, builds the first automobile. Uh, and we know Daimler today, as that family is still in the automobile business. The Daimler factory burned to the ground in 1903 and destroyed the prototype engines that they had in their factory museum. At some point in the 1950s, Daimler built a couple of static prototypes. None of them ever actually operated. In the 60s, Ford Motor Company was experimenting with a gas turbine engine for use on over-the-road large trucks. The experiment did not work out, and the guy in charge of the experiment dumpster dove and picked the scrap turbine out of the dumpster, still in a working order, and kept it. Daimler found out about the fact that this gentleman, who was also a member of Gould Spring, had this gas turbine engine and asked if they could have it to do some experiments with. And our member said, well, I will give you the gas turbine engine if you will make us another replica of the Daimler prototype. And they says, nine, be not interested in doing this. A year later, they came back to our, our member and said, we'd really like to have that gas turbine engine. And the member said, well, that offer still stands. And they reluctantly built another static prototype of the Daimler experimental engine and gave it to our member, who then gave it to the gentleman who built the Otto and Langen replica engine down there. And our, our gentleman, Wayne Grenning, our engineer, Wayne Grenning, and his friend, Woody Sins, the draftsman, took that replica engine and spent 10 years researching and finally building the surface carburetor. The way the surface carburetor works, we fill this tank with, we're using gasoline, and air is brought in from this back, back tube here, and air goes down to the bottom, bubbles up through the gasoline, picking up the uh, aromatics, the combustibles, and that air-fuel mixture is introduced into this prim very, very primitive carburetor, and as the engine turns over, that mixture is introduced and creates combustion. You'll notice here that there is a surface cam where that finger runs in this groove to time the operation of the push rod, which introduces the fuel-air mixture into the engine. Here's a chimney, so this happens to be uh, not flame ignition, but this is hot tube ignition to create the ignition. We'll talk about hot tube in just a minute. So we have, and after doing a bunch of experimentation, he just, they discovered that the key is a multiplicity of sintered bronze perforated discs to guard against flashback or backfire, which would, and especially in this building here, in a building environment, you can go on YouTube and search Wayne Grenning Daimler engine, and you can see YouTube videos of him doing the experimentation 
outside in back of his workshop. And so we have here at our museum the only operating replica of an experimental Daimler engine in the world. Now, as it turns out, operating about four years ago, the bracket that holds the push rod broke, bent the crankshaft, fractured the push rod, and it went back to uh, Wayne Granning's workshop in the Buffalo, New York area. He has since repaired it, but we have decided not to operate the engine again. So you can, in fact, see it operating on a YouTube video. If you go to Cool Spring Power Museum Daimler Engine, you can then find it and see it operating. But here it is, the only one in the world.